Hey everybody, um, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys the things that I found in Texas on my uh, toy hunt slash visiting my family. Um, it's been a while since I've been there and a while since I've done a really good toy hunt and so hopefully you enjoyed the prior video. If you haven't seen it, that's my actual footage of me uh, toy hunting plus the new Dallas Vintage Toys store tour, which is really cool. And it's also been a super, super long time since I've actually done a haul of any kind, really. I've done a couple mail call videos and stuff, and then my the things that I get have just been so spread out that I, I generally don't, you know, gather things up in a short period of time. But today, we are breaking that streak, and I have another toy haul for you guys. So, um, where to start? I guess I'll start at the beginning if we're going to go chronologically. Okay, so basically the stuff that I got at Dallas Vintage Toys was early birthday gifts from my husband. He wanted me to be able to pick out what I wanted, so I got some really cool things. Um, the first one is Yarua, I think, which if you watch some of my retro reviews, I think Queen Amidala or Sly Moore, you um, probably saw me mention that I don't have this figure and I wanted it. Well, I found it, so I get to add another Wookiee to the collection. So I found that there, so I'll be doing a retro review on that. I also did find two vintage loose figures that I really wanted and still have their prizes, but uh, Snice Noodles and a uh, Bespin City, Cloud City Guard, and they come with figure stands, which is nice. So I'll be adding those to my vintage figure display, so super exciting. They don't have any pieces, but they're both in really good condition, so. I also, and this is so rinky-dink, but it's important to me um, because I'm weird, but I am working on finishing all my Burger King 2005 toys. This is the second wave of toys. I have the first one finished, which is the bigger one, and the smaller one I'm trying to complete. So I found the Chewbacca top, and I found the talking Darth Vader, only he doesn't talk anymore. But I did find them, I opened them, I displayed them, and I think they look really nice. And so I am closer, I think now, I'm just looking at them, I think I'm missing two ships, and then I'll have everything complete. So yay for Dallas Vintage Toys for having these. I also got two Galaxy, Star Wars Galaxy trading card packs, which are really cool, and they're series one. I thought that was super interesting. So um, I bought two of these and I figured I could open them up in a video. I thought that might be fun. So um, I don't have a lot of experience with the Star Wars Galaxy because they had stopped doing it for so long. Uh, but Dallas Finch's Toys had a huge little box of them, so I got two. And then my favorite thing that I got there was an AFA graded um, Wicket the Ewok. And I don't know if I should do a video on him. I've done a video on some of my AFA graded figures in the past. But if, if somebody wants me to do a closer look at this guy, I definitely can. Um, he is an 80, he's an 80 plus, so near mint. Really, really good. I don't have a loose wicket. This is the only vintage wicket I have, but I am so happy. I have wanted to get this figure for so long, AFA graded, because it just looks so cute. I love the acrylic. So um, that was my big gift from my husband that I got, and I'm really excited with it. So definitely one of the um, top favorite things that I got this weekend. So. Moving on, um, we went to Madness Games and Comics, which was next, and I ended up just getting two figures, but really, really cool figures that I want to do retro reviews over. This Jedi Knight Army, which is a pack of three figures. It looks super cool. Um, I've never, ever, ever seen this before, so I was like, yes. And then I also got another Wookiee. Um, this is the Wookiee Heavy Gunner. Really cool looking from Revenge of the Sith that I never got. So um, those are the two things I picked up at Madness. We visited a large GameStop and um, there I found this really cool pop pin, which I think are new. Um, and I got Princess Leia, she's number one. And I actually think I'm gonna do a video on this because it's really big and I think that they're like really neat. So I wanted to kind of dive in deeper and, and show this in a review. Uh, but yeah, I got Princess Leia. And then my husband also bought me a Shinron plush which is super cute from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, however, they left the stupid tag and we didn't notice till we got home, so I'm gonna have to go find a GameStop down here to take it off tomorrow after work. So, but anyways, I think it's cute. You don't see a lot of Shinron plush around, so we got him. And then the final things, and these were not included in the toy hunt. This is what we did the day that we actually drove back. Um, this was some birthday money from my grandma, um, plus these two things. She, she used to always take us to go get the little Burger King toys back in 2005. We always got like Happy Meal toys and stuff. And so when she's been at McDonald's, she's picked up these back when they had them. So I already have the complete set, but I thought it was super sweet. And I'll just keep these guys in bag. But she gave me those, and then she also gave me some money. And um, with that, I got the 41st Elite Core, Elite Core Clone Trooper. Um, which is actually, I really just realized that it, the, hmm, it's got another language below it. So that was kind of interesting. I don't, 
I don't recall that being like that, but this is actually a clone trooper that I wanted to get and I never saw in stores and so I found it randomly at another mall we were at, at like one of the little toy store calendar stores that they have. So I'll be doing a review over this guy because he's pretty dang cool. And then the big thing that I got with that money was I got another Loungefly backpack purse thing. Um, this one is, I think, a brand new pattern. It's Ewoks. You can see them in here. They're really cute. I like them a lot. So my other one was blue and black that my husband got me for uh, Christmas a couple years ago. And this one is green and brown that I got for my birthday for my grandma, technically. So anyways, guys, that was it. That was my haul video um, from Texas. I have a lot of reviews to do. I got a really a bunch of super cool things. And so I am super excited. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know um, if you want to see something in more detail that I don't plan on doing a review of um, or what have you. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a great day. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.